Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Car Mechanic. Now, today, what we're going to be doing is finishing off the Mazda RX3, I think this is. Yes. So, we're going to be finishing this off. We're going to give it a test drive. Um, what we got to do, we got to get the front suspension area done. So, let's get on with that. Uh, what is this? This is a front suspension cross member. Just a normal one. Uh, main shop. Uh, if we go suspension and filter out everything. Here we go. Probably have most of the parts repaired, actually. These rubber bushings I do not like at all. They are so annoying. Uh, then we got steering rack. Tie rods. Nope, tie rods can't be repaired. Right. Right, so I need two inner tie rods and I'll get two outer tie rods as well. Uh, has the sway bar been repaired? No. Front sway bar. There we go. Uh, in a tie rod. There we go. Right, so we need brake discs as well. Uh, ventilated brake disc. And install them. Brake pads are... Yeah, should have expected that, really. Uh, where are they? Brake pads... I only bought one set as well because I'm a fool. Hub bearing and probably hub cap as well. Might be ideal. Uh, down at the bottom. Where are they? There you are. Now all I need is front shock absorbers. So I think it's um, shock absorber A. Front one. Like that, I think. There we go. Let's start building this side. Uh, 
Uh, front steering knuckle. Out of tie rod. We need the lower suspension and then we can fit in our shock absorbers. And we need our sway bar link A. Uh, where are they? Where are they? Here we go. Right, that side is completed. So I think these actually have sports tyres on, so when it comes to making the tyres, we need to put probably sports on again. Uh, brake caliper. Wheel hub bearing, wheel hub cap. And then we are done. Right. Now what we need is to buy ourselves the parts. Right. Rim shops. What rims did we have on there before? Rim... Classic 1s, Rim Classic 13s. I presume anything could go on them. I think Rim Classic 4s look quite nice, actually. Um, actually, if I take a look... So, yeah, it's Rim Classic 1. We go we got them and now we need the actual tires oh uh, said sports tires I think that was it probably wasn't No, that seems right. Just got a lot of balancing to do. Should probably put one on to balance while. Right, mount on the classic tyre. Yeah, they look all right. That Mazda is going to be epic next episode. Oh, there we go.
take that. Balance again. There we go. Tires are on. And if we take this tire and fit it on here. Nope. There we go. Rim Classic. That is the car completely finished. We just lower that all the way down to the bottom. Um, we are going to move this to the paint shop. Um, so. Oh, that looks quite cool. I think that looks quite nice, actually. Uh, we'll go metallic. Painted. Uh, if we now move this to the dyno, cannot start engine. Hmm. What have I missed? What is missing? Uh, let's take a look at the status. See what is... Hmm. Okay, so we're missing a fuel pump. There we go. Oh, and we're missing half of the suspension. Okay, fair enough. Just bolt them on. Pretend like I didn't forget about anything. Right, what else was there? Clip bees off of the ignition distributor. Yeah. I was trying to think what that was off of. Uh, engine. If we go down to C. Clip B. Ah, the hook goes the other way, doesn't it? There they are. And clip B there. Right, one thing I remember we didn't quite do is fill up the oil. And we fill that up from here. And then we need a front and a rear license plate. Right. Um, let's go back onto the tablet. License plate shop.
We don't have an English one. Alright, we'll be in Hawaii. Here we go. That's our license plates. And if we assemble. And a license plate there. Yeet. Right, now we should be able to take it to the dyno. Uh, move car to the dyno. Right, let's run the test. So we've squeezed out an extra 10 horsepower, which I think is pretty decent. I will take that. Right, now what we're going to do, we're going to go off and give it a test drive. Uh, where should we go? Hmm... I'm thinking the racetrack. Hopefully we can actually drive this as well. It's not just going to spin out. The loading time is absolutely annoying though. Fair enough, it's drivable. Ah! Uh, no, 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 no. Oof. I don't think that was supposed to happen. Ah! This is horrible. And we got ourselves a one minute. Where's the finish line? There we go. One minute 31. I'll take that. Uh, return to garage. Right, so that is... Where's the Mazda gone? There it is. We can't have it in the dyno while we're doing the outro. Hang on. Let's move you to garage entrance.
So that is the Mazda RX-3 completely built. Uh, but hopefully you guys did enjoy this little series. Uh, next time, we're going to be building this thing, the Mazda RX-3. So as you can see, the engine is in a pretty bad state. Um, by the looks of it, though, it has two turbos, which is pretty cool. Um, so we'll overview the whole of the car and unbuild it in the next video. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. And I shall see you next time. Goodbye.